Howdy, howdy, my friends. Mark Rothko, or the lovable Rothkey, as we call him, stopped painting his subway people and started painting these jigsaw puzzles of color. I'll tell you about that in a second, but first, let's breathe a breath. Stretch a stretch with your hands up in the air. Ah, stretch those faces with a silly face. Over, forward, make a really small face. Make a really big face. Ah, <laughs> wonderful. Rothke started drawing these to feel. He wouldn't outline or create shapes. He would just put color onto the canvas and allow the emotion to come through. When you look at that blue down at the bottom, what does it make you feel right here? Let's look closer. It's like a whole sea. Have you ever been to the ocean and looked out across the sea or worn goggles and put your eyes into the water? It kind of looks like that. What about the orange up at the top? What do you imagine when you look at that orange. I imagine running around or having a lot of energy and just wanting to paint a bunch or maybe play a sport like baseball. The colors are so alive that you can imagine them to be anything. A bright sunny day, a walk on the beach, whatever comes to your mind is a-okay. I want to show you a piece of art I made inspired by this painting using reused construction paper of a bunch of different colors. It's very easy. All I had to do was rip the paper and place it on a canvas. You want to watch? Here we go. Fitting together a puzzle Without a picture on the box Unclipping wings, untying strings Not forcing things The colors float The colors fall The colors know to be exactly as they are. The colors know to be exactly as they are. Be exactly as you are. Mm. That was a lot of fun to make. I would love to see you make a multi-form too. Just take some colorful paper, rip it up, and put it on a surface. And then take a picture and send it to me. I love to see the art you create. Well, my friends, that's it for today. So get up, go play, and remember, I love you no matter what comes around.